This is an aspect of God that we need to remember that he made, he made a law like this. And God said that it was good. And I don't care who's going to try to, to make, you know, pin you out to be some terrorist or, oh, you're like a Muslim or whatever. Look, I believe all of God's word. And if you're a Christian, you should believe all of God's word too. Amen. Don't tell me that this is wicked. This is the judgment of God. This is what he said to do. And it makes perfect sense. What are the first two commandments in the, in the Ten Commandments? Not to have any other God before him, right? Not to build any altars, any graven image, any idols to any other gods but to God. God demands our respect. He demands our worship. He is God and he deserves to be revered as such. And he doesn't want to share that with anybody. He has saved. He has given of himself. He has done everything for us and for, the for everybody. And he says, I delivered you from bondage. I've done these things. So when, and, and I've given you salvation. And when someone's going to come and try to turn you away from the Lord God, he says, that's death penalty. That is a crime punishable by death. And this isn't just anybody from some other land. This is among the children of God, among his people. He's saying, someone comes to you secretly trying to say, hey, let's go worship these other gods. He said, we're not going to stand for that. We're not going to put up with that. You're not going to go worship any other god because the Lord is God. And this is, this is his judgment. So the children of Israel, what are they doing? They're hearing that even some of their... And, and the example that's given in Deuteronomy is, if it's your own brother... If it's your own son, if it's, a, if, I mean, if it's your close family member, you need to have the loyalty to God over everybody else. Now, obviously, that's not like it's something that anyone would ever take joy in or, or want to have happen or want to see happen, but it's still something that God says ought to happen. And the children of Israel, they were grieved. They didn't want to go to war with their brethren. They weren't just on a hair trigger to fight and to kill and to have battle. They'd done enough of that. They were ready to just enjoy peace and, and, and just enjoy their lives in the promised land. It's not like they wanted to fight another fight. But even after all that, they were still willing to fight that other fight and to go even against their own brethren if they're going to go and just publicly maybe you know build an altar unto some other god or whatever. But see, they go and, uh, and ask questions. They don't shoot and ask questions later. Right? They go and ask questions first. They